Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Top 3 Pilot's Last Words Caught on the Black Box Here we go. Stop swimming! Stop motherfucking flying! Two sentence horror stories. The teacher looked confused as the children motioned frantically about the man crawling out of the closet behind her. Too bad she muted all the kids so they wouldn't talk over her story. Truth be told, I didn't divorce my husband because of the countless photos of his mistress's tits I found on his phone. I divorced him because they weren't attached to a body. I was furious when I found out my daughter is a drug addict. I immediately took the drugs away and grounded her. Doesn't she know there's no such thing as depression and you could find happiness in Jesus? Gardening was the last thing I thought my wife would take up after our daughter went missing. But when our dog went digging in the flower bed and found a bone, I realized why. My mother said when I die, I go to the white, shiny place called heaven. I wish you would have told me about the padded walls and the straight jacket too. My first day working at the suicide hotline didn't exactly go as I expected. I never expected to get a call from my daughter. The Back Rooms, Level 1 after the Backrooms Level 0 video, you guys have been curious of what happens when you finally exit the first, most common, and sadly, safest level. The biggest difference you'll notice is the carpet and padded walls will turn to concrete. After a few days of wandering around Level 1, the lights will begin to flicker, first for minutes at a time, but eventually for hours and maybe even whole days at some point. A standout feature for this level are the non-humanoid creatures you will inevitably encounter. They only move near when the lights are off, but you will be able to hear them as they make distorted screams as they move. Escaping this level is much harder than level 0, but it's possible, and there are accounts of people making it through. Being 1 million square miles, don't expect to make it out quickly, but if you do, congrats, because most don't. Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Top 3 Most Painful Torture Methods Number 3. Flaying, or more commonly known as Skinning the cuts were so precise, they could skin most of a human's body while leaving on just enough to leave the poor victim alive for days, surprisingly dying from hypothermia as the skin is a natural insulator. This method was created for the most pain and the longest time in mind. Number 2. The Tongue Terror In the old days, if you dared speak out about being forced to believe in God, you would be treated as a blasphemer. The Tongue Terror, as it sounds, was clamped to the victim's tongue and pulled off. Sadly, the body's reaction is to pull the tongue back and close the mouth, causing it to also pull out the victim's front teeth. Number 1. Coffin Torture The Middle Ages is known for its plethora of torture methods, but coffin torture is the most used from this time period. The victim was stripped naked and stuffed into a tiny cage and placed in the center of town, suffering humiliation in their last days, until they were too exhausted to fight off the crows eating them alive. Top 3 Close Calls with Death Number 3. What seems to be an open manhole to drain some flood water turns out disastrous when a young boy falls in and the village rushes to save him, taking bamboo in the hole to get him out. Despite his limp body, the boy does survive. <laughs> Number 2. A man recording himself driving has a heart-dropping encounter with death when his car skids off the road and starts in a barrel roll. Without the use of a seatbelt, he would have been flying around the car like a rag doll. Number 1. In road rage at his finest, it's no surprise that someone this dumb didn't check to see if their door was locked before sticking their head and body out the window. 
and attempting to punch another car. This could have gone way worse, and he was actually pretty lucky. Remember, don't be stupid, kids. The Back Rooms, Level 2 Also called Pipe Dreams because of its stark contrast. From Level 1 and 0 being so bland, Level 2 has a very industrial feel with metal pipes as a maintenance tunnel. Level 2 can get as hot as 110 degrees. This picture is the only known picture to be taken of Level 2, for sure. The entities in this level are so hostile. Your choice is to run or die. This area is also so large, most of it is unknown. There are thousands of doors that are locked in hallways. They are the only escape, because if you choose to keep walking down the halls, instead of entering a locked door, you will end up back in level 0. If you find yourself in this level, do not interact with the entities and open every door. This, out of all the back rooms, is where most die. So good luck. Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Morbid Reality A subreddit devoted to the most disturbing content the internet has to offer. Woman thought to be Edna Centron, waving her hand for help, on the impact zone of one of the planes that hit the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001. One of the scariest photos ever captured, in my opinion. That's crazy. It's crazy that that's a real person. The smallpox epidemic from the 1500s. That man really looks dead. This was our Philadelphia location's first decom job. The deceased passed away from natural causes, and his home was set to 90 degrees to be the cold temperature outside. After a week, the neighbors called for help due to the smell. So pretty much this is a dead guy stain. That's, that's, that's disgusting. Untitled picture by Adolf Hitler, depicting a series of doors descending into an abyss with the stares of eyeless men at the front. Uh, oh, that's literally a dead guy. You really watched a whole minute of this. You're dark, man. You're dark. Two sentence horror stories. They say that in space, no one can hear you scream, which begs the question, just what in the heck was wailing outside the airlock hatch? I feel so stupid when I remember how much money I've lost in poker. I'll win it back today. The demon I summoned smiled widely at me, but upon noticing my smiling, ash covered face, his expression fell and he spoke. What the freak did you do this time? The beginning of the infection was the end of humanity. Entire galaxies began disappearing weeks ago, but until the sun turned a deep shade of purple. We didn't realize that stars could get infections too. The routine is always the same when the monsters come. Mummy hides me under the pantry while she hides under the floor. Papa used to say we were the monsters once, but now the humans rule the surface and we are the prey. I felt lucky as a father as I held our sleeping newborn baby, but my wife has been crying since she gave birth. I don't get it. The baby is so sweet and calm. He didn't even cry when he was born. I have proof the moon landing isn't fake. What is fake, however, is a believed fact that three living beings came back. Top 3 Close Calls With Death Number 3 Out day drinking with friends, a girl thought it would be a great idea to jump from one camper to another. Her left leg buckles, causing her to fall 8 feet to the ground, and her neck broke her fall. Even a 3 foot drop on the neck can break it, so she got lucky. Number 2 A girl decided to go ziplining. The locked attachment she sent it, causing her to fall a deadly distance to the ground. Luckily, she survived, but ended up breaking her back in multiple places, her arm and her legs. It's safe to say, this is not a vibe. Number one, you have to be pretty dumb to do a standing forward backflip into a pool. Luckily, this guy did it for free, so you don't have to. Cracking his nose, face, and neck on the side of the pool. I couldn't find any background or aftermath pictures, but I like this comment that said he was either dead or a vegetable. I kind of agree. Also, the Discord link is fixed. I promise it works now. Two Sentence Horror Stories I gripped a diamond ring with my left hand and the grenades pinned with my right. Whatever her answer, we'll be spending the rest of our lives together. The dusty time capsule contained a single, deteriorated black and white photo of me looking over my shoulder with a confused and startled expression. I turned my head. Flash. Every day, the overwhelming urge to commit mass murder grows stronger and stronger. I don't know how much longer I can keep it at bay, but for now, I need to focus and get these passengers safely to their destination. The ability to stop time made me a very rich and powerful man, but as I sit here, frozen in my last few moments of life. The only thing I fear is time resuming, and death finally taking me. That time machine works perfectly, and I quickly found Hitler's crib and smothered him. It's the right thing to do. The fervor made too many mistakes in realizing our vision. I won't. After the eruption, I grabbed the hand of my crush. She didn't like me back, but when they discover our dead bodies, they'll think we were a couple. The Backrooms, Level 3 
also called the claustrophobic level, similar to level 2. The walls and ceilings are filled with pipes. While walking around level 3, unlike all the other levels, you'll find items laying around, like lighters, hats, and sometimes weapons. Never go for these items. The entities in level 3 are the deadliest, and the people that see them are almost always killed. There are hundreds of them, and you do not want to fall into their traps. In level 3, sprinting is always recommended, but just so you know, when you reach the elevator to the end, you have equal chances of going on to the next level or going back to level 2. So good luck. Red Room My mom used to go out every night and leave me in the house alone. I was used to it. My dad had died a while back anyways. She had been leaving me for quite a few years when I perked up the courage to ask her where she went each night. I go out for Red Room, is what she told me. I asked her what is Red Rum. It was a drinking bar. That's what I believed for a while onward. She always came home, grinning and looking a bit mental. Who could blame her? She was out drinking, right? The strange thing was, mom never came back smelling of alcohol. It was a bitter smell. My mom hated bitter wine. Then, one day it hit me. If you spell Red Rum backwards, well, you know what she went to do. I'm not proud of it, and I've never admitted I know what she does. I mean, what would you do? Early Halloween Costumes Back before Halloween boiled down to girls in bikinis matched with bunny ears, in the 1900s, most costumes were handmade, and if not, they were made by small shops, giving them all their own unique creepiness. These were their costumes. Who was the Zodiac Killer? Between the years of 1968 and 1969, an unknown man took the life of many people located in Northern California. This man was known as the Zodiac Killer. During his year of murder, he targeted young couples, and on two occasions, the men from the couples escaped the attack. While it's only officially confirmed he killed five people, he's claimed to kill 37. He did that through his notorious letters sent to newspaper companies, once sending the bloodied shirt of one of his victims. He would call the police stations and taunt them, leading him to be known as one of the most arrogant and sneaky serial killers to this day. These are some of his coded letters sent. He even admitted to sending his own identity through code. After all his antics, to this day, his identity is unknown. Until the end of time, we may be asking ourselves. The Backrooms, Level 4 Despite coming from an extremely dangerous Level 3, Level 4 should be your personal cakewalk. Level 3 is marked unsafe, unsecure, medium entity count, while level 4 is safe, secure, and minimal entity count. The physical appearance mimics both an empty office building and an abandoned storage unit. There are windows in this level, but if you find them, it's warned to stay clear, as they are all traps and should be avoided at all cost. This level is most known for its scattering of almond milk in broken vending machines, out of coolers, and even found coming out of the water fountains. It's always suggested you drink and carry as much as you can, as this will be your main source of nutrition throughout the rest of your times in the back room, and you're going to need it, as the upcoming levels will end up being your worst nightmare. Two Sentence Horror Stories My girlfriend always got creeped out by the 14 weird dolls I kept on display. I have a new girlfriend now, and she wants me to throw out all 15 of the disturbingly lifelike dolls. My company has created conscious AIs 47 times smarter than humans. We can never learn too much, because they keep immediately committing suicide. Do you see now, there's nothing to be afraid of. Mom asked as she emerged from the closet. Yes, mommy. I lied, noticing her mole was on the left side. Little Timmy innocently threw a quarter in the well, wishing for universal peace. Every atom in existence stopped clashing into each other, forcing the universe to freeze in peace forever. Devastated by my dog's death and wanting to do good for others, I asked the genie to bring back all animals to life that died in the past month. It wasn't until I felt the rising contents of my stomach forcing its way up out of my throat and out of my mouth that I realized that eating steak tonight was a very bad idea. I found a nail in my tire. I think it was my neighbor. I was sure I'd gotten every bit of him off my car. Top 5 Rare Photos From History 
Number 5. The very last photo taken of the Titanic on 1912 as it sailed away to its demise. This photo in general is extremely eerie. Number 4. Two people died in 800 BC, embracing for the last time. That embrace was discovered in 1972, and have been buried together for the past 2,800 years, and a forever kiss. These two were both men. Number 3. This is Sergeant Ronald Payne traversing the Viet Cong tunnels in 1967 with the flashlight and an M1911. Number 4. This is an aerial photo of Cleveland, Ohio, emptying industrial waste into Lake Erie. The water quality at this time was highly disturbing. Number 1. This is Peter, an escaped American slave, showing his scarred back at the medical examination in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He would later go on to join the Union Army. He bravely fought in the Civil War to free other slaves. Hats off to this dude right here. The Back Rooms, Level 5. This is widely known as one of the safest levels. Not as safe as Level 4, but enough to relax, if only for a few moments. It's also regarded as the smallest level. The physical appearance is surprisingly most like an old hotel, with two main sides, the main hall and the broiler room. But if you were to ask me, I would say it looks something more like a creepy antique store. People have recorded seeing dark ominous figures, but they are all still unconfirmed. If you stumble upon elevators or stairs in the broiler side, do not use them. They are all traps, and the boiler room is so hot, it's hard to explore in the first place. Stay on the beaten path, take the main halls, and find your way out. But rest up, because the next level is the most dangerous and the most deadly level. Good luck. Morbid Reality, Part 2. You guys asked for it, so here it is. A subreddit devoted to the most disturbing content on the internet. An Arizona war worker writes her Navy boyfriend a thank you note for the Japanese Skoli Center, Life Magazine, 1944. A Russian mother kept her baby locked in the closet hoping it would starve to death. Somehow, she lived, and was rescued by a friend that heard her crying. On October 4, 2012, 17-year-old Jake Evans shot and killed his mother and sister. He called 911 and calmly confessed shortly after, describing that what he had just done felt weird, and that he had been planning on killing anyone for some time. Charred flight suits of Apollo 1 astronauts Ed White and Roger Chaffee. This is the address reveal that led to Pop Smoke being robbed and killed in his own home. The Back Rooms, Level 6 Widely considered to be the most dangerous level, Level 6 is a small connection of empty metal rooms. The first thing you'll notice is it's pitch black, followed by hearing groanings and roaring sounds. With the visual and audio senses confused, the brain starts to hallucinate. The only other entity in this level are insanities. This is where you'll need your almond water to keep feeding your brain, as these hallucinations turn you crazy quick. In this level, when the hallucinations finally get to you, you will eventually end up as an insanity, stuck in the back rooms forever. The entirety of level 6 is made out of dozens of complex sublayers, with only one true layer existing, where exiting with your life is possible. Most people die here due to simply not being able to find the true layer, but do conserve all the energy you can, because you'll need it for the second to last layer. It is truly endless. R slash confessions. I stabbed my classmate on the head with a pencil when I was in kindergarten. This topic came up recently when my mom and I started talking about my childhood. I never admitted to this and told everyone it was an accident. Here's what happened. We were asked to draw something on a piece of paper. I forgot what he did to me or what happened, but I remembered I intentionally stabbed him on the head with my pencil. When he started crying and babbling about how I stabbed him, I denied it at first, but he won't stop crying. They checked out his head and found a mark of a pencil, then it was confirmed. I started also crying and told everybody that I was just stretching out since I was tired from drawing and when I dropped my hands holding the pencil, his head just happens to be on the way. They believe that and turns out that the kid was actually being bullied by other kids and then he dropped out. Every time I look at our class picture, I can't help but feel sorry.